So you want to run Zenless Zone Zero on Linux, but you don't know how to actually install the game, or maybe you want to optimize the game, but you don't know how, or maybe you want to use a specific launcher, but you also don't know how. In this video, I'm going to show you not only three ways to install the game on Linux, but I'll also show you ways to optimize your game so that you can play this game at a battery 60 plus FPS. So I'm not going to waste your time. Let's get into it. All right. So this is going to be the installation process for Zenless on Zero. And I'm going to show you three ways of how to install this game on Linux. So the first option to run this game would be using Lutris. So let's open Lutris. Now in Lutris, you have two options. You can use Epic Game Store and then pretty much um, run the game through Epic Game Store. Or we can um, add Zenless on zero as a standalone game so like as a windows game but if you want to install the game through epic game store just simply open epic game store and once it's done then you want to go to the search bar and you want to type Zenless on zero and you should be able to see it once you do then edit your library and then you should be able to see it right here along side with uh, other games you have installed then you just want to click on launch and as you can see this is the hoyo play and you can pretty much uh start playing the game as you can see i already have it installed and yeah then you're pretty much good to go once the game is working you may want to go to the configurations and you want to adjust uh like the graphics and the wine version and you may want to go to the system options and enable something like mango hud if you want um, an fps counter or you may want to enable hgr or something like feral game mode so this will be pretty much uh there's no preference but yeah once you're done you can start playing the game through epic game store all right so let's say you don't want to run this game on epic game store let's say you want to run this uh, game as a standalone executable what you can simply do is go on this plus sign here and we are going to click here where it says install a windows game from an executable now to do this make sure that you actually um, download the hoyo play launcher from from zenless on zero website and uh, once you do then you just want to type hoyo play launcher here then install then you want to install wine then you want to um find your own directory if you want to install this in a different directory but i'm just going to keep it as is then click to continue then you want to select the executable that uh, we downloaded from the website so i'm going to go to my downloads and as you can see it's right here so i'm going to click ok and then you can click install and yeah just let wine do its thing and as you can see um the hoyo play is working so we want to go on quick installation then agree and continue now obviously i am not going to actually install this game as i already have it installed but i'm just um showing you how you can install this game as a standalone executable in case if you want to install it this way then once you're done you just want to go here where it says finish and launch and yeah, um, as you can see, Wine is installing whatever it needs to install. And as you can see, the Hoyo Play is actually working. The second option to run this game would be Heroic Games Launcher. So I'm going to open it. And it seems that Heroic uh, had an update, which is 2.15 called emeth i hope i pronounced that correctly but yeah with that being said this process will be the same thing as epic game store so you want to go to the search bar and type send it on zero in your store of course and uh once you do then you want to add it in your library and once you do you just want to pretty much uh open this game and then play now and this will be the hoya play so as you can see it's working fine with no issues if you want to adjust your settings you can pretty much go here and this is something that's going to depend on 
like what your system is like i use proton ge simply because i find proton ge to work better than if i were to use something like wine with wine i do get fps hiccups on certain places and i've also had like some minor performance issues so when i switched to something like proton ge that solved all of my issues so yeah i recommend proton ge if you want to run this game as for the other options i have e-sync and f-sync enabled and i do use the amd fsr since i do have issues if i were to like run this game at uh, my native resolution i would get fps drops so to compensate that i lowered my settings a little bit in the game but at the same time i also use the amd fsr so the sharpness uh sorry the sharpness strength would be two so this means uh, not only am I playing the game at a low resolution, but I'm not losing the quality of the game, which uh, I think is good. And if you want to limit like the FPS, you can do that and uh, you can use whatever uh, value you want to add. You can add 60, 90 or whatever. And then to the other section, you can enable FPS uh, Mango HUD and game mode if you want to. And then the rest will be personal preference. And yeah, once you're done, you can now play this game on Heroic Games Launcher. All right, so let's say you do not want to run this game on Heroic Games Launcher, nor do you want to run this game on Lutris. Well, there is a software that is pretty powerful that allows you to run pretty much any game, but it does require a little bit of understanding as it is not um, user friendly and that is portals to get portals make sure you actually have it installed on your linux system now since i'm using fedora um i installed it through the rpm fusion you can also use FlatHub if you want to but for me i have used the rpm fusion as i have most of my games configured with this rpm version once you have it installed just simply open it now once you do have it um, all you need to do is to click on this plus sign and we are going to type zenless zone zero for the environment we're just going to click on gaming and then you want to pretty much click create so it's pretty much going to install um pretty much everything like dxvk and other uh windows dependencies that you wouldn't like you would usually need in order to play uh most games on linux so just let it do its thing the good thing about using bottles is that the way it handles wine is so much better than on lutris the only downside with lutris from my experience is that if you want to like use a wine version let's say you don't want to use wine you want to use Proton ge to run a specific game it might work or it might not work simply because the way lutris handles wine is a bit messy that means that you have to go to uh the file and delete certain wine um libraries which kind of sucks with portals on the other hand it manages wine in its own environment that's why i have all of these games in the first place so it puts wine in each environment so that in case if i want to use a different wine version you can do that and that's what i really like about using portals of course it is a bit more advanced as you can tinker with so much of these settings that's why i said in the beginning that this may not be uh, beginner friendly as you need to have a bit of understanding of what you're actually doing but now that we have um, an environment for this game all we need to do is to go to settings and the only setting that i will recommend you do change is this here which is the mango hard overlay which i recommend you do turn on you can also enable other settings like ferro game mode which is another thing i recommend you enable this one pretty much depends on your system and it, it does say that it can be detected by some anti-cheat software so this would depend on you or this like would depend on the individual um, on the individual so i'll just keep it disabled for now unless if you're running a game that's not online that doesn't have a, like an anti-cheat or something then it is nice to actually use this you might get some uh performance boost and as for the runner well you can use system y 9.5 or you can just keep the default but yeah if you feel like you need to enable uh more system settings then you can pretty much 
uh, adjust it to your liking for example you can mess with the synchronization if you want to you can even mess with the fidelity fx super resolution if you want to or if you are using uh, an nvidia card there should be another option here i believe i'm just not quite sure of the name but yeah you can, as you can see like there are a lot of settings you can use to customize your game to your liking i forgot to mention just in case if you do not like the runner that you are running if it doesn't work well with the game if you're having performance issues you can go back to the main menu and you can go to preferences and then you want to go to runners and then you want to install port on ge of course make sure you use the latest version so i'm guessing 9.7 or 9-7 is the latest version so you want to download and install if you want to you can also use <coughs> one ge but i heard that one ge is no longer being supported as much but if you want to you can also download one ge proton and yeah once you're done all you need to do is to go back to settings and then you want to go to the runner then as you can see we have proton ge so if you want to you can select Proton GE or GE Proton. Now that is installed, if you want to, you can use GE Proton if you want to, but I'm just gonna keep it default. And um, once you do switch to GE Proton, um, you may want to give it some time as this part here becomes like a bit blank as it's trying to like load the compatibility layer. But once you do, once everything works, you can go back and you want to add the shortcut. So you can go to this plus sign here if you want to. And you pretty much add the exe. But once you do, it should show up here and now you can launch it. And with that being said, it should be able to launch. And as you can see, it launched as fine. So uh, you can go through the quick installation just like uh on my lotris part of installing this game and yeah you pretty much have to install microsoft visual c plus plus these are just like windows dependencies and then finish and launch and with that it should be able to show the hoyo play and as you can see it's working just fine and yeah these are the three ways of running this game on linux so as you can see the game is working fine and i also usually use um window capture to record my games simply because i find it takes like less resources compared to screen capture but since i'm using screen capture to record this game um i should be okay to play this game just fine but just showing you that the game works so yeah game's working fine now again usually when i don't record um i can play this game just fine like under they just end up like 100 pfs or something like that so might see some stuttering but that's fine since we are recording after all i did uh try all of these characters especially the new character that came out so i'm gonna start a demo so yeah but so far i've been enjoying this game it's been really fun playing it with that being said that is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do give it a like and comment down below if you have any issues or if you need any assistance or if you need further assistance you can join my discord server otherwise it's your boy jury and i am signing out